What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a fun team for today's video. We are rocking out with Choice Band Explosion Regilecki. Now this Regilecki set right here is made for all different types of situation, but the main one we want to showcase is going to be Choice Band and Explosion. We can pair up this Regilecki next to one of our ghost types, such as Golden Go or Fluttermane, explode freely, and then hopefully pick up a KO or two and then get after the match that way. That's the plan. But this Regilecki also thrives in many other situations as it has the choice band. It also has Volt Switch to pivot out. It has E Speed for first time priority. And on top of that, it's got Wild Charge for big time stab damage. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Get off some big time damage with this guy. Other Pokemon on today's team features Pelipper and Urshifu right here. Urshifu's got the Power Bracer, alongside with Surging Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Detect. And Pelipper is rocking the choice specs. Really cool with Hurricane, Muddy Water, Wide Guard, which is weird on the choice specs, but maybe it'll come in clutch. And then we got Weather Ball. Final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Golden Go, Flutter Main with the Moranga Berry. I don't know what that does. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be totally honest here, but Moranga Berry over here. And then for Rigoran. Cool little squad. Let's look to grab some wins. If you guys wanna run the team for yourself, Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, looking to get after it. Going up against a Meowstic team alongside with Torkoal and Lilligan. Such a strong combo. On top of that, they got uh, Landorus in its incarnate form and then Iron Bundle and Metagross here. So I did look up what the Moranga Berry does and it's a cool little item. If Fluttermane gets hit by a special attacking move, the Moranga Berry is actually going to pop and give it a boost in special defense. So that's pretty cool. The Power Bracelet over here, or Bracer I should say, actually lowers our speed. This Pokemon could be rather solid in the Trick Room. But I want to check out the speed of all the other Pokemon here. Oh, this, this team thrives off the Trick Room to be honest with you. So Frigoraph is going to be our friend, except for you. I think Explosion Regilecki into maybe like Trick Room. Do you have Ghost Terror? No. But into like a Trick Room could be pretty good. But uh, we might want to set Trick Room here right off the rip. Or I might just want to explode. And that's something I'm going to try. So I'm going to go into you. On top of that, I am going to go into probably Ghost Type. I would say go into Golden Go. Because if it is two Pokemon that I can just KO with a normal move, that could be pretty big for me. So I'm going to go in with both of them. On top of that, I am going to go with, hmm, I think maybe Furigraph to pop Trick Room later. Yeah, I like that. We're going to go Furigraph, and last but not least, we are going to go Urshfu with that Power Bracer. I like it. I can get down for that. So let's see what they end up doing here. Torkoal, I know they have the sun, but still, Urshfu hits really, really hard with close combat regardless. So looking to explode here in match number one, get off some big time damage, and maybe get Furigraph in the back end, pop a big time Trick Room, and then go from there. Gonna go for that. We're definitely gonna go for that. We do have the normal terror type on Regilecki, which is also really well, giving it a 50% boost in damage. We love it. And they're gonna go Lilgint and Meowstic. So fake out, mm, definitely an option. Um, I wish I had protect, but I don't. So they could fake me out here. I might just set up a make it rain and maybe try to bolt switch out here. We'll see. I believe they're gonna, or not a make it rain, a nasty pot, I was thinking, but I don't have nasty pot. Who has nasty pot on this team? I thought one of our Pokemons had Nasty Pot. Okay, you don't have Nasty Pot, which kind of sucks. It kind of does suck. But I could rip a Shadow Ball here. I can rip a Shadow Ball, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to rip a Shadow Ball. I am going to go for a Volt Switch here. And Logan is just going to protect. So instead of exploding, it's going to pop a Gravity, which is looking a little scary. Definitely looking a little scary. But I'm going to bring out Frigograph here. So I Volt Switch into you. Gravity is popped. And what do you got? A Jack Button? Eject button. So he's going to eject out. I'm going to also switch you right here, Regilecki. And I'm going to bring back, or not back out, but I'm going to bring out Frigo up here. But who do you bring out? Who's taking the Shadow Ball? That's the real question. The bundle. I don't mind the bundle taking Shadow Ball. The bundle comes out here. Quirk drives boost and probably boosts the speed, correct? Yeah, speed's going to get heightened. It didn't really matter. You kind of outswim me anyway. The Shadow Ball flies, and I don't swap with Volt Switch? Okay, luckily I just KO. I don't swap with Bolt Switch? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm exploding this turn. I'm so exploding. Actually, I'm choice in the Volt Switch. I don't swap there? Just because you eject button out? That's a little wild. That 
That's a little wild. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. That's wild. That's absurd. That is absurd. I'm gonna swap Regilecki now. I'm gonna save my choice band for later. But that's just absurd. Actually, I do outspeed. I could hit the Logan before any of them. So that's gonna be my play. I'm gonna Volt Switch into the Logan. Use it that way. And from here, I might just protect. You. Actually, I'd rather save or protect. I'd rather still rip a Shadow Ball maybe into Logan this turn. And go from there. The Volt Switch, we're gonna double down on Logan. Just because it protected last turn, trying to get rid of it. That's crazy how I did not swap last turn. It just makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. From here, I'm going to go right into the figure. If we do have the Citrus Berry, if we do take some damage here. But Regilecki in the back end with normal Terra Explosion could really clutch up for us. And you're just going to put my figure after sleep. Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't right. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. Sands here. Storm's going to fly through here. Golden Go dies out to that. And I might make this a 1v1. 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 I might just explode and try to clear the field here. In all honesty. It's going to be a risky play. It's going to be a risky play, but I'm going to do it. I'm normal Terran. I'm exploding right here mid-game. And I'm turning this into a 1v1. Who could their final Pokemon potentially be, right? Could be Metagross. I don't mind that. They could have Terra, which could be a little tough. Um, it could be Torkoal. Torkoal's a little scary, especially with the sun. I doubt it's Torkoal. Oh, no, they showed all four Pokemon. They showed all four. It's me, Alfstick. Oh, my God. I am exploding like no tomorrow here. I'm exploding like no tomorrow. We're going to try to pull off a Trick Room. Sorry for a graph, but I'm exploding. Hopefully, none of them protect. If they double protect, I'll be so upset. <laughs> I'll be so upset. But we're going for it. Big time explosion. If I get rid of both these Pokemon, my Urshu's got this one, no problem. So we're definitely KOing our Frigga Ramp. No protects, hopefully, incoming here. And we'll see how this one plays out. No shot. No shot. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. No shot landers protected. If I would have thought anybody would have protected, I would have thought the Logan would have protected. That would have been so big. But now it turns to a 2v1. Um, trying to think of what Meowstic has. Does it have Ally Switch? Does it have Follow Me? I think it might have Ally Switch. But what I can do here would just be Attack with you. Surgeon Strikes will KO. You do have Terra, which really honestly sucks. Man. Terra honestly sucks here. But we got to detect this turn just to see what he wants to do here. Because I know Meowstic has that big out. I was ready to turn this into a 1v1. So I'll detect here. We'll see what they want to do. Maybe they'll Thrasilize. Um, we don't have Terra anymore either. But you've really protected the Lando. That could have been a big time play for us. But again, it was real risky. It was more risky than anything. So here comes their final Terra. It's going to be Landers, which is probably going to win them the match here. But I went for the risky play. I always go for the risky plays. The Lando gets the Terra here into Poison. No bueno. Not good at all. And I detected it. So we'll see what Meowstic wants to do. Probably fake out, right? You're not rocking fake out. Is that is that is that your whole thing? You're gonna go for a Thunder Wave into me. Now, yeah, this one's pretty much over, right? Because you're gonna Thunder Wave me. Probably gonna land, and then you're just gonna Earth Power probably half my HP. But Surgeon Strikes is our best bet. But I don't think Surgeon Strikes picks up the KO. I really don't. Hopefully, Lando protects like an idiot. That would be our best bet. But pretty sure we're just gonna go for the same thing here. Go for a nice lovely Earth Power into a thunder wave right yep there's thunder wave and chances are with my rng i'm gonna be paralyzed this turn so <laughs> we'll see we'll see dance here sword coming through here and wow that damage is absurd certain strikes is flying yeah we're not KO. we are not KO. so gg to our opponent again dude if that explosion or if that lando didn't protect during that explosion we would have won this match no problem so again risky play but they end up just protecting, grabbing themselves to win. So I'm just going to run this one. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to explode a little bit more with Regilecki. Moving on to our second match for today's video. That last match ended in a weird way. They ended up just protecting Landorus. We went for a high risk, high reward play. Did not end up working out. It's all good. Looking for a win here in match number two. Going up against a semi-trick room team. Torkoal, Frigraph, Ursaluna. 
that works out well in Trick Room. We also have Trick Room Squad, but then they have Ogre Pond in the rock form. They also have Fluttermane, and then on top of that, Entei, which could be Choice Man. It could be rather annoying, but we got to bring in our Weather Pokemon just because of Tour. We don't like that one. But uh, do I leave Frigraph? Do I lead Regilecki? Who do I lead here? I'm thinking Fluttermane, Regilecki. Maybe just trying to explode here early on. Could be good for us. Could be good for us. So I'm going to go in with both of them. In the back end, I'm going to bring my Weather Pokemon. So I'm going to try to get Trick Room rolling with uh, with Fluttermane here. And if they don't lead any Ghost-type Pokemon, I'm just going to explode and look to just pick up some KOs. But if they do, I could just Volt Switch Pivot. I could Wild Charge. I think Volt Switch Pivoting would be better. And then maybe just Terrastalize our Fluttermane. I'm going to go from there. We'll see what they want to end up leading here. Rigoraph and Ante. I'm exploding. I am... There's no doubt in my mind I'm exploding. There's just no doubt in my mind that I'm exploding here. I am... Terrestrializing normal. I'm hitting the explosion button, and I'm setting up Trick Room in front of me. There's just... It's just no doubt in my mind. It's just... What I gotta do. It's just what I gotta do. It's all in a day's work. Explosion. Coming out and about. We doing the ends up withdrawn for Riggy. There's no way you go into Flutter Man here. There's just no shot. You go into Torkoal. Okay. So you're looking to just do some big time damage with Entei. You're just looking to do that. But hopefully this explosion just gets after it, right? You do Protosynthesis pop and give me a special defense boost, which I which I rather like. I, I like that. So thank you very much for that. But I am terrestrializing the Regilecki. It's big time. Damage. If I can explode and then I can swap into Pelipper, which is good. Get some weather control that way. My Pokemon are rather slow. My Pokemon are slow. At least my Urshfu and my Pelipper. But they're going to end up terrestrializing Entei. What are you doing? You better not be ghost type. Okay, you're fired. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So we terrestrialize. I terrestrialize. Explosion coming on out here. Get after it. How much damage are we doing here? How much damage are we doing here? Big time explosion. We got to at least KO the Entei, right? We do. Beautiful. I was going to say, Torkoal might outbulk it. But if we KO the Entei, we get off Trick Room, no problem. Now I can bring out Pelipper. And we can roll from there. That's a solid start for us. And they wasted Terra, which we love. Get that Terra on out of here. Get it on out my face. We don't need it. We don't need it. So out comes the lovely little Trick Room. And now I get to bring out Pelipper. So weather is our friend. I do have Muddy Water ready to rock. That is big time for us. And they're gonna bring out Ursaluna. Little do they know, they do not have any type of Terra here. So Muddy Water is gonna be our friend. And they might just hard swap back into yeah. Which could be the play. Could definitely be the play. But I have Protect, I have Shadow Ball. I am going to double down into Ursaluna here. And just throw a Muddy Water across the board. What's your accuracy, Muddy Water? 85. Would we rather go Weather Ball? No, we're going. We're, we're a high risk player, dude. We're a high risk player. You end up overheating for him. Into my Pelipper. That's fine. They overheat into my Pelipper. They don't end up hard swapping, which is actually good news for us. Actually, they do. They're able to do it with the eject pack, and that's just so big for them. Wow. <laughs> Once I say it, I'm like, yeah, they're not able to swap. They end up doing that. So, Frigraph comes out here. Uh, Pelipper, are you slower than Ursaluna? You're not, so you're just gonna die here. You're just gonna die. And that really hurts. Maybe we shouldn't have popped Trick Room. We have such slow Pokemon, too. We have such slow Pokemon. The Moonblast now gets cooking. Doing a nice chunk of damage here. And gets a special attack drop. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Because now I get to bring out you. Um. Okay. Get to bring out you. Moonblast can fly. We're gonna Moonblast you, and we're just gonna go for a Surgeon Strikes this slot, right? Yeah, if you swap into Torkoal, Torkoal dies. Go for Helping Hand here. So, Helping Hand Hyper Voice, looking like it's coming out here. It's looking a little scary here. Surgeon Strikes is gonna outspeed. Wow, we should've went after Ursula with that. We should've went after Ursula. This one gonna KO? If this KOs, it's massive. It does. Okay, so that's a KO there. That's a KO there. And you're going to go for a Hyper Voice, correct? We both eat. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I get my berry. And I get my lovely berry. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's huge. You're going to lose some HP to Life Orb. Moonblast should finish you off. And you do get to bring out the Heat Wave. You do get to bring out Heat Wave. And I'm kind of scared if Urshfu's going to be able to soak the shot up. I do have Aqua Jet. I can Aqua Jet you. But I don't know if Aqua Jet's going to KO, especially in the drop. We're going to hope it does, because I'm definitely going to go for it. But I do get a special defense boost. Oh, you are you might be able to soak up some shots. You have special defense boost, and you're plus one on special defense, aren't you? With that berry? That's pretty big for us. But from here, we're just going to drop a nice little Shadow Ball here. And on top of that, we're going for the Aqua Jet. We're going to go for the Aqua Jet here. Can Aqua Jet finish this one off? Thank you. It does. So match number two goes to us. Explosion Regilecki comes in clutch. Our opponent did give us a little bit of a scare with that Ursaluna Bear. But hey, one and one. Let's go hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Moving on to our final match. Going up against a dreaded combo that I always hate going up against. Dondozo Tatsugiri. They also have Raikou. They got Latios, Golden Go, and Reggie Dream. So a pretty strong team here. We might just want to explode again. That's a lot of fun. It definitely is a lot of fun. But weather control is ours. Definitely is ours. And I'm thinking of just, again, exploding. Going Regilecki alongside with Fluttermane. Pop in the trick room. Getting after it that way. I like it. I like it a lot. In the back end, we're going weather. So we're going in with the same squad here. Something I really, really like. Um, Tantozo Tatsukiri. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I might not want to explode here. I might not want to explode here. We'll see, depending on who they lead. Depending on who they lead. So we'll lock this one in, look for a win here in match number three. But we are sitting 1-1. One one. Wish we were 2-0 oh because I really am still upset at that Lando protecting. But it's all good. It's all good. I still feel like we're playing pretty good with this team so far. Considering it's a gimmicky team, it's not a straight meta team. So... We'll take it. But they end up going Raikou and Latios. And yeah, this kind of screams to me, let's explode again. And I'm kind of all about it. <laughs> I'm kind of all about it. I'm kind of all about going Trick Room Explosion Terra. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. This is what this video is about. We're having fun out here. We're having fun exploding with this little Regilecki. So hopefully no protects. I doubt any protects come through. I more so see maybe like a Tailwind slash... Snarl potentially coming out here slash light screen Right no protects. That's all that's all we ask for. That's all we ask for you And this combo works so well because Regilecki and Fluttermane right here disguise themselves as really fast Pokemon When in reality the Regilecki is only the fast one because it wants to explode and Fluttermane just wants to set up trigger That's why it works so well, here. but they're gonna end up Terrasalizing Probably Latios, right? Get rid of that dragon typing That's fine they're going to waste their terror type and go into... Ooh, not a waste. Not a waste. Steel pops out here. So we're hoping he popped Tailwind. We're really hoping he popped Tailwind. I wonder how much damage this explosion could still do. You out speed? You got to be choice. You have to be choice. You have to be choice. It's, it's just a must. You have to be choice. So we know your choice scarfed over there. Now let's see what Pokemon they bring in here to... Oh, they get the readout. We have a normal type. Ew. We get to read that out, which is so smart. What are you going into here? Dantozo. Okay, so Dantozo's is going to take the explosion. I don't mind that. It's going to be able to soak it, though, which is a slight issue. Definitely a slight issue. But how much damage does this do? I like that. I like that. <laughs> That's some damage. That's some damage. So we'll see what Latios wants to go for. Hopefully no Terra Blast. No Terra Blast would be beautiful. We're hoping more so for like a Tailwind turn here. Simple Beam. Okay. So you're Simple Beam. And I was saying Simple. Okay. So it's Simple. No more Unaware, but that, that's cool by me. Now I get to bring out Pelipper. Paloops. And I could just choice into Hurricane here, probably. Most likely. This Pelper is slow. This is a slow Paloops, dude. This is a real slow Paloops. What is it, 60 speed? 60 speed? Yeah, and you're 91, but half that because of the power base. I believe it's half. That's why it was able to be faster than Pelper and Trick Room last match. But from here, Fluttermane's like 155. It should be slower than you. So I'm going to Shadow Ball that slot. On top of that, I'm going to choice in a Hurricane here. Just go straight after Don Dizzy. So he ends up going into that. That's fine. 
You're gonna go into... Is that Tatsu? It is, so you just... Oh no, you're not making it faster. You are making him faster. So you are making him faster. That's totally fine, because he should die out to this Hurricane, correct? Correct, should we spec Hurricane? Hopefully he does that much. I could be wrong, considering the special defense boost really helps him out tremendously. I'm really hoping it just picks up the KO. It does. Now Tatsugiri hops out the mouth. Shadow Ball is going to hit it up. This match is pretty much... Pretty much wraps, right? I wouldn't say it's wraps just yet, but that's going to be some nice damage on the Tatsu. Beautiful. Nice little half. Nice little half. So we're choosing a Hurricane. I don't mind it. I actually kind of like it. And they're going to probably throw out their final Pokemon rather than Latios. And it's Raikou with the choice. With the choice specs. So we know we can't protect, which is actually low-key massive. So I'm just going to double down on Raikou. I'm just going to double down into him. Or I could Hurricane you. Yeah, I'll Hurricane you. Not very effective shot. Don't really feel like doing, dealing with that. Not bad. Showcasing Regilecki really well today. Really well. Hurricane flying. Bye-bye, Tatsu. Get it on out of here. Choice specs. I'd love Pelper, yo. <laughs> I'd love Pelper. Pelper is just... Pelper's a goat. I love Pelper. Moonblast doing almost half. Thunderbolt is going to KO us. Um... I still like where we're sitting because I get to bring out my Urshifu. Now, Urshifu in the rain says no problem to this Choice Scarf Raikou. I can hit it with a certain strike to finish that off. Pretty much wrap up this battle, right? It's looking pretty good. We got that thing low enough, but that explosion on Dondozo, so big. Little Shadow Ball, little Surgeon Strikes into you. And make sure you go down. It's just such a good combo, like exploding, not taking no damage from an explosion with Fluttermane, and then just getting off that Trick Room. Because then you're able to, after explode, throw or read out the situation and throw out a Pokemon that best, best fits the situation. It's just so big. But Surge Strikes picks up the KO there. Fluttermane should be slower than the Slatios. And yep, Shadow Ball's gonna fly through here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Almost a 3 0 perfect record with this gimmicky explosion. Regilecki -E team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Had some fun on the ranked double ladder with this team today. Absolutely loved it. Like I mentioned, that Explosion Regilecki, alongside with the Ghost-type combo, just works out so well. You get to read the situation. You eventually get to get out of Pokemon. And on top of that, Pelipper and Urshku with these items and EV spreads really thrived out in Trick Room. So this team just fit perfectly all around, and the synergy was amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously. You guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.